else? It's Ellen. Welcome back to my channel and happy Foundation Friday. Today is the review of a brand new foundation that just hit the market and you guys have been asking me so much about what I think about it and honestly I had to try this for many, many days and many, many ways to show you how it works for a drier skin type. So before we get started, hit that subscribe button, share this video with somebody you think might like it and let's do it. All right, yes, it is that time. The new Hourglass Vanish Seamless Foundation Liquid. That's what we're talking about today. So this, this has been a labor of love. You know, for me, I never like to talk negatively about any brand. Um, I like to keep it really positive, and Hourglass is no exception. They are one of my ultimate favorite brands, especially when it comes to powders. Um, I love their little highlighter thing. I love their blushes. I love their brow products. Um, but this one gave me a run for my money. I will be absolutely honest. So let's talk about the product first. So let's talk about the product itself first. I bought this off of Beautylish, and boy do I love Beautylish. It literally came the next day. Um, I ordered it, and it showed up on my doorstep. Uh, this foundation is $56. It is a little bit on the higher end. So as we know, Hourglass is a cruelty-free brand. This is formulated without alcohols, parabens, phthalates, sulfates, talc, and of course, like they said, they are a cruelty-free brand. Um, it is a great selection of uh, undertones and skin tones, which I absolutely love. Hourglass is known to provide a great selection of rains, ranges from very, you know, fair to um, some of the deepest colors um, so there that's beautiful and amazing I got the color shell because that's the color in the stick foundation that I was um, and so I decided to go with it it matches pretty good it's just a touch darker but it matches pretty darn good now what they say is, and I do love that it has no alcohol on this foundation, it's really one of them, in my opinion, this is a leading um, benefit to this foundation is that it has no alcohol in it. Um, it to me, it's, it's a huge deal, uh, as well as parabens. So how they actually say to apply this is, it is extremely full coverage, you only need a very little bit, like a pea size amount. Uh, it says apply half foot pump and drop it on, drop it on to the forehead, nose, and chin, blend out. Um, and you can get very seamless coverage, which is more of like a medium, all the way to full. And it says to use it with their brush. And I have their number two foundation brush. I did apply it with it, and it did not work for me. This foundation says that it's sheer, sheer finish than the stick and uses less product with a damp beauty blender. So that's what they say, a sheer finish and you can have a, you know, use less product with a damp beauty blender. Um, it does, however, have uh, 24 hours of wear and it has light reflecting microspheres to create a soft focus complexion. It is waterproof, it is transfer proof and sweat proof, non comedogenic. And, uh, it, and overall, I totally agree with all of those statements, but it is, they call this a satin matte, and I'm going to first, by the way, I'm applying the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I have also very extremely hydrated my skin with a multi-layer um, process with the layering, all right, for sure. I layered on some really hydrating uh, skincare first. That's why my face is all nice and glowy. All right. So I found that this foundation is extremely matte. They say that it is a, um, turn that on my ring light a little bit. Um, they say that this foundation is a satin matte. I, I would actually hesitate to disagree. It is an extremely matte foundation. Um, I was watching, what I was going to say is I was watching the Hourglass Live uh, with their brand ambassador. I think her name is Chantel. Uh, or Chanel, Chantel, I think, um, and she said that she really actually recommends this for oily to normal skin types, and I would absolutely have to agree. Um, I'm kind of giving away this in the beginning, but I want to show you what this looks like and all of that good stuff and how, if you really want to try this foundation, since it is alcohol-free, you can try to make it work for you. I had to apply a hydrating primer first, and then I'm going with my Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. You can use whatever illuminating primer you want. Now, I'm going to put that all over the skin. This is a lot of work to make this foundation 
work to be honest with you um, I do have normal to dry skin and I have tried this so many ways I mean the amount of ways and products that I have tried this with is probably five or six days of trying this out and I had to use two um, two uh, primers to make this foundation work for me so what I'm gonna do is I have my little guy here I'm gonna do a half a pump uh, like that that's all you really need okay and then I am going to just hit it with a tiny bit of the illuminating primer and I'm going to be putting it on a damp beauty blender and I do, I do dot it on the face and then I take this real techniques sponge and I actually do a light pulling motion on this and I do go gently under the eyes nothing too aggressive and then I start kind of tapping it in what I do like about this foundation is you can apply so little and you can absolutely get a medium coverage foundation it doesn't have to be super full coverage but if you want full coverage you absolutely can do that because it is so highly concentrated and pigmented. So this is what it looks like on just a very sheer layer. Now, I don't mind it like this. I'll be very honest, this is very pretty. Um, I don't need to powder it, but if I really would like some more coverage, I do need to use um, probably a full pump and I will kind of spread it onto those areas that I like to have a little extra coverage and that seems to work good for me but it is very concentrated you guys so you absolutely can i'm just using whatever's left on the sponge and just kind of tapping on the face um you absolutely can use too much so that is something for you to remember um it does hide pigmentation really nicely and it doesn't look super fake while you're hiding the pigmentation but I'll show you guys in real light like we normally do and I'll get you in real close here in one second but this is as far as I would go I do feel I'll pull you in here I do feel that it hides pores pretty nicely um, I don't don't mind my nose I have been so sick and so my nose is like flaking off um, but I do not notice I, I notice a pore refinement, but they're not like, you know, if you have large pores, this is not going to be something that's going to hide them, but it definitely gives a little bit of a soft focus for sure. Um, I do think that it's really pretty. Um, I think, though, that you have to manipulate this to make sure that it looks the way that you want to if you have a more dry skin type. Um, I'll show you a little bit right here. This is where it always looks a little bit weird on me, and I'll have to go in and I'll have to really keep pressing this in while the foundation warms up on the skin and really really push the other trick that i found works really well and it kind of looks just a tiny weird bit weird on my forehead but the other trick that i found works really great for um more drier skin types is to use the ambient uh, uh the ambient powders the pressed ones all over and it will give that glow back to this foundation but i also usually have to hit this with a rehydrating spray after it dries down um so this is what it looks like isn't it pretty i think it's really pretty but i just think you have to manipulate it so much to make it work for the majority of my squad but if you are oily like super oily and you really want some nice coverage um and you want a you know cruelty free alcohol free foundation it is probably going to be a rock star for you so this is where we're at i would be afraid if you had texture though on the skin that it would cling to the texture um, just because I do have a small amount of texture happening on my chin right now and I think that's kind of exacerbating it but I will tell you that by applying all of those primers underneath because they say you do not need a primer 
But applying all those primers underneath will change the dynamic and wearability and longevity of this foundation innately because we are kind of adjusting the formula and we're adding hydration and so it won't be as long lasting or as transfer proof. But I have gotten many, many, many hours of wear out of this and it really looks fantastic many hours later. So you will see that as well. Um, but let me go ahead and finish brush my makeup and I'm gonna go show you in real light so you can see the real gist of the skin. All right, love, so here we are. It is all on. I'll get up really close so you can see. This is actually in 4K. This is on my phone so you can actually see what it looks like. And I'll tell you what I did. So um, after I obviously left you from my studio, I applied um, the hourglass palette that I use all the time. So the bronzer and the blush. And then I did hit the under eyes and then right here and right here and right here with a damp beauty blender with diffused light from the ambient lighting collection, the powders. Um, and it gives a really nice glow. So this is how I feel you're gonna have to use it. You're going to have to work with it. If you really love this brand, which I do, and you really want to support this foundation and you want to know this foundation has no alcohol in it, um, but it is a dimethicone based uh, foundation as well. So that'll be a personal choice for you. Um, but it has no alcohol in it, which is fantastic. So, but I think it looks great overall, but it took me many tries to get here, everyone. So trust me when I say that you are going to need a primer. You absolutely are going to need a primer if you are more normal to dry. And if you are more oily, I think this is going to be a rock star product for you, even combination. Just plop it on your skin. You won't need a primer. Um, and it will be beautiful for you. And I don't even know if you'll need to set it. I did not set the rest of my face, so none of this has powder on it. None of this has powder on it. But it does feel extremely lightweight. It feels like nothing is on the skin. Um, I do feel like it's done a really nice job around here, kind of giving me some blurring effect there. But overall, it is a beautiful foundation. Um, it just really needs being manipulated for somebody that of our of my skin type so let's check back in in about four hours from now so you can see the wear all right love so we are four hours later and i'll get in real close in full k so you can see what the skin is looking like so for me, as I wear this foundation over time, it definitely melts into the skin, absorbs kind of the you know natural oils and such of my skin, and starts to become more luminous and more wearable for me. So I like this foundation over time as the day goes on. But you can see it has not moved. It has not done anything. It barely transfers onto anything, even on my phone. I mean, so even the adjustment of the primers really doesn't uh, affect the formula all that that much so this is where we're at at four hours later you can see it looks a little bit more like skin now um, and it's enjoyable it's definitely enjoyable but you got to work with it like I've said so let's check in in a few more hours and I'll show you what it looks like hey loves it's me so I don't know why this keeps happening every foundation Friday but it is much later than I expected um, I think it's because my husband just got home and it is 11 hours total of wear um, to be honest with you, it's breaking down a little bit. I haven't worn it this long before, so I'll let you get in real close. Um, my overall thoughts are this. Um, the foundation, in my opinion, which actually they said, like I said at the beginning of this video, is not for somebody that has normal to dry skin. Um, it definitely is breaking up on me, so it looked beautiful at four hours. Definitely looked great at five hours. Um, but I just think it's a high price point to have to work with it so much. If you have normal to dry skin, to dehydrated skin, I would reach for something else that we have tried before. But honestly, if you have oily combination skin, this might be your jam. For me, am I bummed that I bought it? A little bit, but I'm supporting one of my favorite brands, and so I have no problem doing that. I probably will mix this uh, with another foundation that is a little bit more skin-like to sheer it out and give it a little bit more hydration. I actually might combine it with a moisturizer and make a tinted moisturizer out of it. I think that would be a great way to use it. Uh, but end all be all, it is a great foundation. It just is, my opinion, is not for dry to, you know, dehydrated, even normal skin, unless you are, I mean, I layered my skincare on, I layered on two different primers. So I wish they would have come out with something that was a little bit more skin-like, but again, that, you know, 
Hourglass is one of my very, very favorite brands. They really can't do too much wrong in my book. So will I continue to use this foundation? Absolutely, but I will mix it with something else to make it for my liking. So let me know if you guys have tried this foundation. Let me know what you did to adjust it to make it work for you. Uh, and I would love to hear your suggestions. Maybe I would learn from them. So I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you on the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Mwah. And I will see you Sunday. I have, an I have an amazing YouTube live for you guys. All right, see you then.